Hi folks, G3 here, and welcome to another instalment of my journey to go green. Well folks, thanks for watching this video. If you enjoy it, then please remember to click the like button. And also, if you haven't done so already, subscribe to the channel and click the bell icon so you get notified when I load up a new video. Right, let's get on with the video. In today's episode, I'm gonna take a closer look at a Christmas present I received. It's a really nice kit that is an old, glass bottle and it's set up for you to be able to grow basil seeds in it. So let's take a closer look. It came from a shop called happyglorious.co.uk which I believe is based in Cranbrook, Kent. My parents bought it for me so let's have a look. Nicely wrapped. So this is a hydro herb kit and it contains everything you need to get started featuring recycled parts and organic nutrient solution, you can expect to have fresh organic herbs for years to come. Looks fantastic. It's made out of an old glass bottle. Um, looks like a wine bottle. Really nice, so held together by an elastic band. Let's get that off. It's got a cork top on here, which I imagine is probably intended as a base for it. Some instructions in here, let's have a look. And a bit of a wick. So we've got the base jar. We've got the top of the bottle, which has some, um, some balls in there, and it looks to be nutrient isn't contained in there, I think. A disc, not sure what that is. This, I would imagine, is some sort of wicking agent to get the water up, but let's have a look. And there are the basil seeds. So this is, thank you for purchasing a member of the Good Glass Wicked Wicks Hydro Herb Kit family. Well, that's a bit of a mouthful. By following these instructions and allowing a little time, soon you'll have healthy, happy hydro herb. Alternatively, if you're more into seeing than reading, okay, they've got the website, they can have a link and have an introduction video instead. So it says the first job is to identify all the parts in the kit and ensure you have everything you need. So there is the cup bottle, that's number one. Capillary matting wick, yep, as expected, that's number two. There should be two of those, yes. Hydroponic solution, should be two of those. Okay, so those are in here. Let's get those out, they're nicely contained within the beads. So they are hydroponic solution. The seed bag, yes, I've seen that. Cork coaster, yep, that was that one for it to stand on. Jiffy tab, there should be two. Please note the indent marks on the upper surface. Jiffy tab. Well, I think this is the jiffy tab. There should be two. Oh, I'm only seeing one. Oh, it's hidden away in here, right. Instruction booklet, I should be reading it, very observant, and clay pebbles, more than you need for one grow. So I guess they are reusable for a short while, maybe. You'll need a bowl of water and a pair of scissors. The additional parts, jiffy tab, wick, and clay pebbles are present so that when the time comes, you can have a second grow. Put them in a safe place for later. Okay, so the one of these and one of these appear to be for later use. The first job is to hydrate one of the jiffy tabs. Fill a bowl with water and place the tab in the water, dimple side up and leave for six to eight minutes or until swelling stops. Luckily, I brought some water. So let's pop that in there. So that's gonna swell, I believe. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to put it underneath the water. Let's see. Right, so the top's wet as well. While the tab soaks, take the capillary matting wick and fold it in half. as it appears in the picture for the parts list, yes. Using a pencil, push the folded wick down the neck of the bottle, leaving it just a little sticking out of the neck. And it should like look like the picture on the page. So let's see if you can see that. Should look like that picture there. Use a pencil, push the folded wick down the neck of the bottle. I assume that it's going that way. like 
so that's what it looks like in the picture to me anyhow. So we've got the capillary matting going up and just sticking out a little bit from there. Just a little bit more. So they've done a good job of smoothing the glass. Now stand the top part of the wine bottle back in the base. Taking a dozen or so pebbles, place them around the wick and then push the wick flat. So a dozen or so. That is supposed to go in there. Well, that's a dozen. And I've pushed the wick flat like it's showing in the photos. So give you a better view of that. That's kind of what it's looking like on top of the clay pebbles. Mm. Right. That's in there, that's on the clay pebbles, right, okay. Cut away some of the material from the top of the jiffy tab, revealing more soil, and then gently place the hydrated tab onto the wick. Right, okay, so, I'm not sure about cutting away, but this is the soil tab I've got here, so I've just gone and moved that aside and placed that on top of the wick there. That's not going so well because it's just resting on the balls. I think it might need a few more of the balls. Just to keep that in place and supported properly. There we go. So now I've got it sitting on some of the clay balls and then the tabs there, and it's got a bit of a depression in the middle. And I assume that's where the seeds are gonna go. And I would expect water to be in the bottom here and it will go up the wick to the bottom of this tab and that will keep that wet. I'm expecting that's how it's gonna work. I might be wrong, but that's what I think is gonna happen. Finally, take some of the remaining pebbles and place them around the sides of the jiffy tab, but not on, tab, on top. Okay, so it did want some around the outside to keep it in place, fine. That's all right then. I think that's about it. Oh wow, okay, no. I've got to do them all the way, but not on the top. So all the way up the sides, fair enough. I think this is a wonderful idea as a present because it's recycling something that could uh, otherwise go to waste. I mean, obviously it's glass, so generally it's going to be recycled, but it's a nice little idea. I think it's a lovely little growing kit. And if this kind of thing helps people get into growing their own uh, herbs at home, then fantastic. Right, so that in theory is how it's supposed to look. And this is how mine is looking. So you can just hopefully make out the wick at the bottom and we've got these clay balls around the outside. And then in the top, I've got the plug of uh, soil. Take the seeds from a sachet and sprinkle some of them onto the jiffy tab. Particularly in the case of smaller herbs, such as thyme, it's best to spread a generous number of seeds over the surface. Remember, if you need to cut back, you can do later. Now, this one has um, basil in it, and it's supposedly that's gonna germinate in seven to 14 days. Each kit contains two dropper bottles with 10 mil of concentrated growth solution. In hydroponics, all the nutrients that a plant receives other than oxygen and carbon dioxide are in the growth solution. This is very concentrated. Got to keep it away from children, don't ingest. When making the solution, fill the base with water up to the halfway line on the label. Well, it's not really clear, but there is a line on the label there. I guess that must be what it's referring to because there's no other marking showing a line, so it must be there. And then add six to eight drops every time you fill the reservoir. Refill the reservoir as and when it runs low. The nutrient solution is specifically designed to be both certified organic and compatible with hard water. However, if you have very hard water, perhaps use filtered or rainwater. And then once that's done, that will be sitting on this cork mat. So that is what it's gonna look like. Now, you might already have seen my other video on the hydroponic set I've got at home. If not, I'll link to that video up here so you can see it. But it's the same principle with regards to the solution that's in the bottom here. So it's water with a little bit of nutrients mixed in there. 
but that's all the plant is going to need to grow. It's going to draw the water and nutrients up through the wick and that's going to come up and wet the sitting on and that will be sufficient for these seeds. So let's get a few of these in. Just tap a few onto my hand. Now, I've got a lot of these seeds in other packets, so I can be a little bit generous with these in truth and see how, how they do at germinating. So I'll spread a few out in here and give them an opportunity to grow. And then hopefully we'll get quite a few from that. So that's the seeds that are on there. Now I've got the water here that I was using, so I will utilize this in here and it's to go up to the line. There we go. And then six to eight drops of this hydroponic solution. Nice safe lid there. You've got to break the seal first. And I'm going to put some drops in. That'll do. Brilliant. What a fantastic kit. That's brilliant. That's really good. I'm loving that. So that is all you need to start growing some basil. I'll keep you posted on how this grows. So the next time you see this, hopefully we'll have some nice basil sprouting there. Here we are two or three weeks after sowing the seeds in the hydroponics kit here, the recycled one. We can see there hasn't actually been a huge amount of growth. They're um, still taking their time. They are growing, but they're nowhere near as free growing as in the hydroponic system that I've taken you through before. I'll include a link to the video in case you haven't seen that one, but we can see that these are all growing very nicely. We've had lots to eat off of here already. It's extremely efficient because it's in the growing medium and it's got the light directly on it in the right frequencies. So this is all really good. So at the back we can see we've got some basil and Thai basil. So they're growing really nicely. They're huge. But if we come back round, they're just not growing. Nowhere near as much. I've been turning the top round to make sure that it's getting access to the light besides it. Perhaps I need to move it so that it's getting more direct sunlight, but I mean, obviously they, the, the lighting conditions that it's right near and growing towards are optimum for the hyd other hydroponic sets. So I would expect it to do well, but. And I haven't changed the water in this one at all yet. It's still a reasonable level. The wick is still within the water, so it's wicking up there. Let's just have a feel of the um, soil. Yeah, that's moist, so it's still wicking up nicely and, and keeping that wet, so it should be fine, but not growing very well. I may well have to move it, we'll see. Because the hydroponics hasn't been particularly successful in the kitchen next to the permanent hydroponics set, I've gone and moved it onto the uh, living room window. Now, hopefully this is gonna get a little bit more light. It certainly seems to have picked up a bit, so these are growing a little bit more now. I've moved them around so that they're facing away from the sun just to keep them sort of moving uh, and growing. It is positioned above a radiator, so that is something I'm needing to keep an eye on because that isn't necessarily the best location um, for it, but it is going to get uh, quite a bit of light. Now I've gone and topped up the water level, so it was back up to the line here because it had got down to about this level within the there were, what, three or four weeks that have been growing. So it really hasn't been growing fast in that time. But hopefully, positioned here, it's going to pick up and, and be a little bit more successful. The compost at the top is nice and moist, so it is still coming up, um, wicking up through and keeping that moist. So they're getting the nutrients. They are starting to grow now, so hopefully these basil will um, pick up a bit and it'll be um, a little bit more successful. Here we've got the hydroponics set the the hydro herb kit and it's been i've been placing it on top of here in front of the windowsill during the day for a few a couple of weeks now i think 
It's actually, I planted it about a month ago, but we can see that there are, the leaves are starting to come now, the true basil leaves. So they are starting to come through. So being positioned up on here has made a difference. It wasn't really growing initially next to the other hydroponics set. I thought the lights from that would help, but it hasn't. The natural light has really helped here. So it is starting to grow. There is moisture coming through on the pad that's drawing up from wicking up from underneath and that's working fine. Um, I think that's really good. That was it. That was the hydroponic kit. Um, and now apologies, bad hair day. I'm just filming this after I've been out from elsewhere. So I would say that that is a pretty good kit. I, to be honest, it was a present, so I don't know how much it cost, but the fact that it's using the recycled glass bottle, the wine bottle, I think is awesome. It's nice smooth edges on it, so it's nice and safe. It comes with all the bits and pieces you need to, to make your, your herb kit and grow from the water and nutrients below. I think it's great, especially if there's, um, you're teaching kids how to do it. It'd be fantastic for them. It's starting to grow nicely now, so we should be able to get some leaves off of there and we'll be using those within our cooking sort of and pasta, pizza, and also within Thai cooking as well. So I think that's really good. So that's it, folks. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, then all, as always, make sure you click the like button. And if you haven't done so already, then please subscribe to the channel and click the bell icon so you get notified when I load up a new video. Well, until next time, folks, thanks for watching. Bye.